Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition for over 70 years. Today, we'll be demonstrating the installation of our Airlift 1000 kit on a 2022 Jeep Cherokee L. Installation may take up to two and a half hours to complete using the included installation guide. Remember, this overview doesn't replace your installation guide. Grab yours out of the box and let's get started. Jack up the rear of the vehicle or raise on a hoist. Using the jack stands or equivalent, support the body and lower or raise the rear suspension so that the rear suspension is hanging. Remove the rear wheels. Mark the spring, upper and lower spring seats, body, and lower spring link using a white china marker, paint pen, or crayon. Set a jack underneath the lower spring link close to the outer pivot point where it attaches to the spindle. Unplug the electric parking brake wire harness connector. Unbolt the wiring harness bracket from the caliper. Using a large screwdriver or a fir tree mount removal tool, pull the wire harness routing clip from the caliper. Remove the two tree mounts, holding the wiring harness on the lower spring link out. Tuck the wiring harness out of the way. Jack up the spring link slightly and remove the outer nut and bolt. Remove the knuckle from the spring link by prying outward with a screwdriver and pull the knuckle away until it's clear. Carefully lower the spring link all the way down until the jack can be removed. Pull down on the spring link and remove the coil spring. Remove the lower spring seat from the spring link using a long screwdriver, prying in on the outer tabs of the spring seat inside of the spring link and push up on the spring seat to pop it out. Using a box cutter, cut a 1 and 3 8 inch hole through the rubber cover on top of the spring seat. Put the spring seat in a drill press and drill a 5 16 inch pilot hole, then a 9 16 inch hole through the center. Remove the lower spring seat from the drill press and on the tall tab side of the top, mark and remove the rubber cover material, creating a keyhole. Using a hand grinder or rotary tool and a grinding bit, remove material, creating a ramp for the airline to follow on the keyhole side you just created. Grind material out halfway down on the inside of the hole. Flip the lower spring seat over and on the bottom side, opposite of the flat, create the same ramp halfway up the hole previously drilled. Repeat these steps for the lower spring seat on the opposite side of the vehicle. Remove the top spring seat from the coil spring. Remove the black plastic cap from the barbed stem on the end of the air spring. Exhaust the air from the air spring by rolling it up toward the barbed stem. Replace the cap on the stem to hold its flat shape. Fold the air spring into a shape similar to a hot dog bun. Insert the air spring into the coil spring with the barbed stem pointing down. Install the upper spring seat back onto the top of the spring, making sure it indexes and seats properly. Remove the black cap and allow the spring to assume its molded shape. Insert the airline through the bottom of the coil spring and the lower spacer, then attach to the barbed stem on the air spring using the airline clamp. Make sure the airline covers all the barbs on the stem. Reseat the lower spring seat back into position in the spring link. Insert the airline into the lower spring seat, through the lower spring link, and out the slot on top of the spring link close to the inner pivot point. Set the spring assembly back into position, making sure that the marks made in step two all align and that the upper and lower spring seats are positioned correctly. Raise the lower spring link back up using the jack. Pull out on the knuckle once the lower spring link is close. Then raise the lower spring link up far enough to push the knuckle back into position. Insert the bolt and nut, but leave loose at this time. Reattach the electronic parking brake connector, large tree mount, and bracket back onto the caliper. On both sides, attach the heat shields to the exhaust using the hose clamps right behind where the spring assembly is located. 
Insert the air line through the airline heat shields on both sides and position them at the lower spring link pivot point. Using zip ties, secure the air line to the upper cross member. Route the air lines according to the installation guide, above and behind the cross member, through the small hole in the spare tire shield, over the spare tire to the back. Find a suitable location for the inflation valve away from the exhaust and install the Schrader valves. Install the wheels back on the vehicle and raise the suspension or lower the body completely. Torque the spring link nut and bolt to spec. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com and our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.